into gangs. A madman strapped to a gurney, screaming in terror. And myself? I'm strapped down too. Why are you doing this? I don't belong here. Let me out. Calm down. Everything's going to be fine. It's all in the past now. You can't keep me here against my wishes. Tarakan, please. You're safe now. What? Where am I? Mikhail's warehouse. You're safe. Nobody is safe from the Rat King, Little Mouse. Not ever. Don't you ever forget that. Ah, uh, yes. Our old friend, the Rat King. I guess everything's back to normal then. Hey there, Taraka. But of course, I have been. I can. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. This is a big day for you, Mousy. For today, you get to be the cat. Thanks to your PDA thingy upgrade, you can now detect those pesky NAR soldiers, shadows, and living creatures in general. I also replaced your regular battery with a more advanced one. For a while, you'll be able to run a scan more often than usual. But throw it away afterwards, or it will explode. Whether you're out on a hunt or simply trying to avoid danger, it's pretty useful if you ask me, Mousy. Now let's do a live practice. I'll hide, and you find me. I hope you understood everything. You're such a clever mousy after all. Close your eyes and count to 100. And no peeking. Where did that old fool go? Better use my PDA to scan the surroundings. No point running around like a jackass. I'd better use my PDA. took longer than I'd hoped. You'd better improve, or the next rat you meet will also be the last. You make me proud, Igor. Under my guidance, you will become the ultimate rat exterminator. 
What's the matter, Mousy? Hey there, Tarakan. But of course, I can. Actually, I can't. Listen, Georgi, I know what I'm doing, but there's no going back now. I know, my dear friend. It's just that we lost such a brilliant mind that terrible night. I'm afraid of losing you, too, all over some romantic squabbles. And this misunderstanding also cost you your good looks. I don't want to listen to this anymore. No more distractions, you hear me? Oh yes, of course. I'm very happy to hear that it's all in the past now. Good. So let's get to it. I would like to see some results as soon as possible. We both know that she's the key. We've wasted enough time already. All right, all right. Just don't do anything rash, please. We need to follow the proper protocols. So my dear friend Boris worked with Semenov even after the Chernobyl disaster. I wonder what happened to his face. And Tanya is the key. The key to what? Yeah, more secrets. I've got to keep digging. Your trials were too aggressive, my friend. I told you that you were using too much, didn't I? I told you. You're lucky you didn't end up brain dead like the others. But here we are. Boris is dead. Truly dead this time. There's no reason to pretend otherwise now. I suppose I should have seen this coming. The mental projections you told me about, the visions, they've been building for some time. To be honest, I just thought that your hallucinations meant you were losing your mind. Prolonged exposure to Chernobylites often causes psychosis and hysteria, after all. Why, I've seen the test subjects babbling about Cthulhu, or wanting to save the world from rats. You really did it, my friend. You crossed the Rubicon. You achieved something that no one has ever achieved before. Well, except her. But she has a different purpose. 
You will be the first of your kind. You will help me bring about a new era of human evolution. You will help me reach the stars. Forget your past. Forget your pathetic personal involvements. Distractions. Foolish distractions for the weak. Wasting your time seeking validation from others, but not anymore. You don't need any of that going forward. You're to be my right hand in the days to come. It's time to drop your old mask and don a new one. Time to become what you were always meant to be. The Black Stalker. Wake up soon. We've got plenty to do, you and I. So it was Boris all along. He started the Chernobylite trials on himself and became the Black Stalker. Dear God. I've told you everything you need to know, General. What seems to be the problem? The problem? That's what you're calling it. Look, I won't even pretend to understand what you and your lab monkeys are doing down there. And I wouldn't care if I did. What I do care about is this facility and the safety of my men. So the next time you decide to rush an experiment that can potentially release a bunch of fucking monsters into the world, please tell me beforehand so I have time to devise a strategy. First off, the shadows are key to our research. They are hybrids that... You know what? I won't bother you with details that you won't be able to understand anyways. And second, actually, no, I'm responsible to the board, not to you, Kozlov. Your job is to safeguard this operation, not lecture me on things you will never come close to understanding. In fact, the board wants you to cooperate closely, very closely, with my right-hand man. I would like you to familiarize him with all of our security protocols. Who? The freak in the black mask? You want to tell me who the hell he is? I'd like to know who I'm working with. If you need a name, call him what the rest of your men call him. The Black Stalker. One last thing. I know you don't share my views on the future prospects of this organization. But don't even think about throwing in the towel. If we fail, there will be hell to pay for both of us. There is no walking away now. So the NAR is somehow responsible for creating shadows. Or at least releasing them into the world. And Boris, the Black Stalker is also involved in NAR security. <laughs> 